Let there be light and fire, slow motion, fire, and slag, all this good stuff. Today, loud noises, super loud banging. Today, super slow motion fire. That is what we're doing. So this process is called shielded metal arc welding. And today, we played around with taking some super detailed close up slow motion shots. I didn't even know they were slow motion really, but my camera, because this process creates so many little sparks and little, what is the word for it? <laughs> little balls of molten metal that come flying at the camera. I have to keep the camera at least like three or four feet away. So I need to use a zoom lens, but I'm really cheap and I don't make any money from this YouTube thing, at least not anytime in the near term future. Subscribe, that way I can make some money. Um, but yeah, because of that, I got a super cheap lens, which isn't really the right lens for my camera. So it has to be zoomed in super far um, in crop mode, basically. Loud banging noises. We're cleaning off the slag that forms when you create welds with this process. The slag like protects the molten metal while it's going from liquid to solid from being contaminated by the atmosphere. So it creates a hard layer over the metal while it cools. It's replacing a gas, which would do the same thing in other welding processes. But because of that, it creates all of this splatter and mess, which looks awesome to me. All of this looks awesome, all these processes. But this one creates way more smoke. It just creates more sparks, more splatter, more, more mess. Because of that, it looks even cooler slow motion though. So right now, this is still using an eighth of an inch rod. So 0.125 inches. In a little bit, we're going to jump all the way up to a quarter inch rod, which is just wild. I like that flame when the arc is going out. I think this is the last pass. I'm playing with zooms in my editing. We're playing with, look at the, you can see like a little droplet of metal forming at the end of the rod. And it breaks off and it joins the pool. And I could actually double the speed. So I do at the end of the video. I go from right now, this is 60 frames per second being slowed down to 30. But later on, I do 120. Look at how cool that is when the arc is forming between the electrode and the base metal. That is cool. This shot. This all just blows my mind. I said that in the last video, it's still true. This is a different process, so I get to say it again. Just seeing that little bit of surface rust this close up. Again, that rod is an eighth of an inch thick and it has a coating over it. So I guess it's actually thicker than an eighth of an inch, but whatever, it's a really small rod, but we're zoomed in. Okay, after this, I think, so we're gonna break off the slag again. Cause you can't weld into the slag again. It'll contaminate the next weld. It'll make even more of a mess. So brush that away. And this is quarter inch rod. Hurrah, it's a super monster rod. I don't even know if that's zoomed in. Oh, that is zoomed in. Still, look at how cool that is. Look at the molten metal dropping off. Look at us losing the arc. That is so wild. I want even higher frame rates, which is what we do at the end, but the smoke makes it a little bit tough to see. That is so wild. My framing wasn't great, so it starts to go off camera there. Look at this, we moved to more overhead here. That's wild to me. I never know how much I should zoom in. I always just want to zoom in as tight as possible while still getting the full like 1080p frame. 
because I want to see this as detailed as we can. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Like, if I want to try making something with this process. I'm waiting on another cheap lens that also isn't for my camera. So I'll have to use all manual settings and an adapter, and it'll be a pain to make it work while trying to shoot tricky shots. But if I get the other lens, I should be able to get even more detailed, even more crazy shots. These are already pretty cool though. Super zoom, molten metal. I should have thought at some point, I'm gonna start thinking about what I wanna say before I start recording. But I've been playing with this video for the last few hours, so I kind of just want to like look at it and enjoy the final product. I'm trying to think. This is not the super slowed down. This is still just 60 frames per second, slowed by 50%. Keeping the arc lit, I think maybe the gap is too small for how big that rod is. So it keeps losing it. But it looks cool seeing it start again, so it's not even bad like, when it doesn't keep up. Welding with quarter inch rod. Yeah, that would be for like, whatever it's called. Um, what are those beams called? Giant steel beams of metal. That sounded cool. Look at how cool that is. That is wild. Eye beams. I could see this being used for like industrial uses for sure. That is so wild. I've never actually welded with this. This isn't me welding. I'm handling the video in this one. But the last two were both me welding. So yeah, this has been my third welding video project. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.